Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Shane. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. And we're back with Death. <laughs> Death Note. Note. I got so distracted. Last time on Death Note. Death! Note. Note. Notes! <laughs> notes! <laughs> if there were any death or notes. Or death notes. There were notes. deaths, but well, there's they're off screen. The, last time. the death note yeah. is with a cabal of businessmen. <laughs> cabal who are in Mortal Kombat killing themselves off. Oh, oh, God. No, they're killing other businessmen. Other off. businessmen, but so that their company does well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but some of them are kind of afraid of it too, aren't they? I mean, they don't know. Okay, the they idea, don't know who it, it is. It would be that we know one of us is Kira. Yeah. We know which one of us is Kira. Sure. And we have to make an idea of okay. What YouTuber are we gonna kill yeah. <laughs> this Friday so that we can keep this going? Yeah. And then we'll be better. We'll be the best YouTubers ever. Okay. Then. That's the idea. Alright, who got kill? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it was, it was an analogy. No one else does death note on Facebook. It was a comparison. <laughs> no, uh, okay, so yeah, there's that going on. We had a uh, fight or a date uh, with a three way date and then a two way fight. What? Yep, remember? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we had that going on. We also had. Uh, I'm going to forget his name, but the one officer leave because of the, in my opinion, silly test. Aizawa. Yeah, Iza yeah, okay. That uh, L put him through. Yes. So now they're even. They're down another man. <coughs> but, but they're up two now. No, they're up yeah. one. Oh, true. They went down one. They went up two. So they're up one. Yeah. I put it to normal and unless then added you, two. Unless you count the guy that died back when when he yeah. showed up randomly. Yeah. And he ran. Ugh, died. I'll do that so that I'm right. So they're even. <laughs> right? Yeah. Sure. So that would they, well, they, they, guess, they right. would be up to Eric. Yeah. You'd still be wrong. So but, they have unless you go back and you count all the police force that they had and then everyone left yeah. and there were only like five guys left. So they're so down they're a still, lot. They're still in the deficit. They yeah. need more help. And so what was, about those I wasn't right enough. What about those fifteen hundred FBI agents? Shit, there's even more. Yeah. They're like negative ten. Yeah. In this bit. Uh, what happened? What else happened then? <laughs> Well, for one thing, mm -hmm. he extremely uh, felt bad because it was a test, and he mm -hmm. failed the test, and I thought that was kind of stupid because I thought he proved himself. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to hit the button. No, no, I <laughs> want to hit the button. Why don't you tell you, me you, you, you another thing. He just said it all. Nope. No, he didn't. No. Nope. What else did they do? Two guys, one con man, one thief. Well, I know that. We just said it. We didn't say anything he about con He said you're down two, up one. No. We were wrong because they're just even. We didn't get to that point. I can't remember their names, but yeah. Me, miss. So is it, is it a guy and a girl? Me. So there was an M, right? There was one with an M. Damn, what was and her there name? There was one that was I like, think the one is voiced by no, no one North. I don't know the yet. Guy. I only heard him say, hey. You yeah. know, that's all I know, he did. but it sounded like Drake. <laughs> it did sound like Drake. Damn. Not Drake the rapper. That, I was, people were probably confused. What? Yeah. One was like, I mean, the no one North probably <laughs> threw him off. What, what, what's their names? I didn't write the names down yet. Fuck, Calvin, the only things you write down are names. You didn't write down their names? I, I didn't did write, write them down yet. I was oh too my absorbed. Gosh. I did write down the names. What is it? I don't have them in here because I This is why through. you need to take smaller notes. I went through my notebook. <laughs> <laughs> After all, the last thing I want is to be dead weight. Ryuzaki! We're gonna get a bad story on. Is there anything I can do to help with the investigation? <laughs> uh, the Besides Krillin? the manager Give me a coffee. Thing. Could you get me another cup of coffee? Uh, uh. Say you'll stay by my side. Oh, she's gonna be in a movie, uh, Mr. right? Mr. Director, I can't do this. I have a boyfriend. Can we have the love seats, please? Uh, uh, wait, can't we just fake kids or something? What? It's like Bollywood movies. Until recently, they didn't actually have anybody kiss on screen because it was way too awkward. And today is Friday. Matsu! Hello, Matsu, get over here! I guess he had to run off somewhere. Huh. Somewhere. What's he doing? He's sneaking into the building? Would I punish evildoers and criminals if I could kill by just seeing a name and face? Is that what I'd do if I had that sort of power? Surely I wouldn't do that. No, I'm thinking too hard about this. There's no way anyone could murder so many people and not have any memory of it. What's wrong? You've been staring at me for the last two minutes. Wait, let me guess. You must be annoyed because I'm the only one eating cake at the moment, am I right? Uh, no, that's not it. Here. Detective Heraldo Coyle has just received a private request to investigate and reveal the identity of L. Isn't Heraldo Coyle supposed to be the second greatest detective in the world? After L himself? The head of the rights and planning department of the Yotsuba Group's mm. headquarters in Tokyo. Yotsuba. So it is Yotsuba. We know that Yotsuba His last must name be linked is to Kira. Kira. If they're trying to find out L's identity, it's probably because they want to kill him and need that information to do it. This isn't good. The detective known as Geraldo Coyle is me. Uh -huh. It's quite simple, really. Three of the greatest detectives in the world. L, Coyle, and Deneuve. 
They're all actually me. <laughs> it's been my experience that people who try to find me usually fall for this. Okay. I'll give you this strawberry if you keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> Put it in your pocket. Yes. Always Zaki. Should I wait until everyone's gone and search their offices? I can't. Exactly. I YouTube? can't do that. Maybe I should get out of here. Uh, Doesn't want to be dead weight. Again. I'm too tired. Look on the bright side, at least it falls on the weekend. You never know how long these confidential meetings will go on. Take the stairs. Oh, fuck. I made it this far. I'm gonna see it through. Can you walk into a secret meeting? I don't know what he's planning. Put your ear on the door handle. We cannot let anyone from Yotsuka figure out that we are investigating them. Please realize that if they do notice, it means we won't be able to catch Kira. If only I could hear just one thing. Something important. He's gonna fuck it up, huh? Yeah. I just heard someone say kill. Kira, there it is. Kira, they said it. These fall forward. Yes. They open the doors. <clears throat> That's why you don't lean on doors. Who the hell are you? And don't take matters into your own hands. I have just received an emergency signal from Matsuda's belt. My name is Taro Matsui. I'm an agent with Yoshida Productions. I just dropped by to ask if your company would be interested in using our top multi-talented star, Misa Amane, as your new spokesperson. <laughs> okay. Disregard everything I just said. We need to rethink our strategy. Not so you idiot. Disregard everything I've just said. <laughs> doesn't have anything suspicious on him. I suppose that means he isn't a corporate spy. <laughs> right, um, so please take Misa Misa into consideration. These two are only acting as guards. The rest of them must be discussing how they'll get rid of me. Go ahead, you can answer it. Hello? <laughs> Yo, Matsuri! Miyazaki! Yeah, it's been nice. a long time. Yeah, it doesn't sound like you're out right now. <laughs> Don't tell me you're home already. So, do you want to, like, go out drinking tonight? Huh? Right now? Oh, sorry. I'll have to pass tonight. Oh, what's the matter? Don't tell me your wallet is in trouble again. In trouble? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Big troubles with money. You know me way too well. <laughs> Not so just saying he's in big trouble. <laughs> Don't have to translate that. Do you expect us to believe you're this girl's manager? Well, to be honest, at the moment she's filming a movie nearby. Once she's finished, I'll call her and get her over here. Then you can see why she'd make a great spokesperson. The main question is whether he heard anything. If it's a possibility, no matter how small, we'll have to kill him. I'm wondering if he really did come here just to promote his client. Misa? Hi! I'm sorry I've been working so much. I'll be finished soon, okay? Misa, you're not with Matsuda at the moment, are you? Him? He's a total jerk. He just ran off and left me here. Oh! Hang on, I'm getting a call on my work phone. There's a chance you may be able to appear in Yotsubo's commercials. We're working it out now. What? For real? You're amazing, Matsu, so that's what you've been up to all this time. Don't worry, we're wrapping up soon. Great. It's just a short trip by taxi. I'm Misa Misa. My only rule is I don't do nudes, but swimsuits and lingerie are totally okay. It's really nice to meet you. Since you're about to big catch, I got the okay from our office to have a special reception. Mm -hmm. Reception? We're very pleased to meet you. Tonight I'll be entertaining you as our special guest along with the girls from the agency. Hey, is it just me or is this getting weird? <laughs> it is weird. Sushi! Oh, there you are, straight right up. <laughs> We gotta do this more often. Jeez. Ryuzaki, are you watching this? Yes. Uh, look, I'm really sorry that I... That's not important right now. Okay. Listen, the eight men who came here were having a meeting to determine who they'd get Kira to kill for them. Oh. I heard them say it clearly. There's no doubt they're behind this. Yes, that is probably true. Luckily, you're still alive, so we may be able to save you. But for that to happen, you will have to die before they can kill you. What? What? I want you to listen to that me way they don't carefully. fake his death. Uh huh. Demon, don't to tell us. Oh, it doesn't work. No. no way. And you know why our company is 
expanding. You are a company that is expanding. I am so drunk. Jump off! Uh, the balcony! I have no idea what they're gonna do. Uh, 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 hi, everyone! And what are you fun good? Why are they so unsettled by a drunk the guy? <laughs> Who's the music? For? The Taro Matsui Show! <laughs> She's not in on the plan, right? No. Right, here we go. She just thinks he's a drunk guy that's walking on the edge of a balcony. Like, she's like, how many floors up? Drunk. That's way too dangerous. Don't worry, I'm just fine. I do this all the time. Uh, 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 <laughs> this music is me. Like, it's actually good. <laughs> it's alright. You know, my numbers are safe. Like, if there's a safety net down there, I would be, like, still scared. Yeah. Uh, Holy shit! Uh, uh, Big body! Uh, he fell! What a crazy plan. What happened to him? This can't be good. Oh, it's someone else. No! I heard that, so I came out. What do you mean, this what happened horrible. to him? Someone call an ambulance! This <laughs> shit is a crappy wall. He fell. <laughs> And the lights uh, shut off. Yeah. Ah. I'm aware of the fact that we're short-handed. I'm not very pleased about having to do this sort of thing myself. You're Masahiko Kita, VP of the Rights and Planning Department at Yotsuba's Tokyo office, correct? Yes, that's right. And who am I speaking to? I go by the name Eraldo Coyle. I'm calling to discuss my terms with you. <laughs> what? A two million dollar advance and eight million upon completion? Is he out of his mind? That's not all. Even if we don't commission him, we have to pay him two million just to keep him sad. This is getting ridiculous. That's how I'll get his money. I've had it. I want all these meetings right yeah. now. I don't know who Kida is and I don't care. I just don't want to get wrapped up in this and end up in jail. Huh. We'll wait for that. That's okay. I think you're going to end up dead tomorrow. They're going to kill one of their guys. No, wait! He's that was out. only joking! It's not like that! I'm in. I'll see this to the end. Alright, we'll contract Coil. Anyone have any objections? No, no objections. objections. Alright, they got El, light on their side. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Coil. I thought this would be a challenge. Security no. level here is a joke. They've left it all to a single contractor. There weren't even any wiretap detectors. It's been about a week since I first snuck into the place. It looks like things have been moving pretty smoothly since then, huh? We've almost got them. So one of these people... Jeez. Mm -hmm. ...is Kira. Well then, now that everyone's here, let's commence our regular meeting. But if there's supposed to be eight, why are there only seven? Did they kill the one? Hmm. So is it Matsuda? Or Matsuna, or I've also heard Matsui. M Matsu Matsui is his fake name, I think, that he gives out. Okay. Uh, she called, at one point she said, Mazu, so I think it's Mazuda. Mazuda? Yeah, right? Mazu would be a pet name. Yeah, yeah. so Mazuda. Okay. I mean, probably not thought right, but, or pronounced right, or whatever, but that's what I'm saying, Mazuda. Okay. I understand him being torn over not the, you know, over the fact that he's just not really being useful, so he did something drastic. Yeah. Eavesdropped. I mean, he's a brave guy. I mean, he's still here, you know. He's still willing to put his life in the line and stuff. But yeah, yeah that all that stuff about you know being dead weight or you know all these people that are doing everything. They're so passionate. What has he done? Yeah, it was a, it was a bad it was a poor mistake. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if he just he didn't lucky. fall in there, he'd yeah. have been fine, you know. Yeah. I mean, they twist it around and make it something decent, though. I guess. Yeah, I yeah. mean, the entire task force has always just waited and went with his plan. You know, I don't know why yeah. he would go that far out of it. But. I always, I really feel the show, this, the show has shifted away from uh, from light a lot. Well, definitely, be, you know, I, I actually enjoyed the scene he had where he's like, "Could I be that person?" You know, yeah, which is really interesting. Yeah, I couldn't do that. I couldn't murder people. And right? it kind of, yeah, it kind of falls under what we were talking about. Either could he become a hero time? now? Like before, we were so anti light. Yeah, he was yeah. like, "This guy's a fucking just mad sure. man killing people." But could he just be our hero now? Yeah. Well, we were also talking about like the implications of, you know, somebody that's forgotten a memory but committed a crime. You know, it's yeah. like he truly like. He doesn't even think he would be capable of doing it. Yeah, he feels bad. He wants to catch this guy. I guess he's guy. questioning if he would be capable of doing it. Yeah. yeah. By the default well, he, being he couldn't. 
Do you yeah. think that if he found the Death Note again now, would he revert back into what he was, or would he be something new? I think he would be something new. I don't know. I don't want to suggest like the Death Note has some kind of influence on you. Like I think I don't. Who finds it or susceptible? I mean, nothing changed. I really want to think, the, really want to think um, it's the power. Like when he has the power, like how would he really use it? He's being he's corrupted yeah. by the Death Note. I don't. It's, it's, I, don't I don't want the can... Death Note to be a thing where it changes you. Yeah. It only gives you the tools to become what you yeah. would become. Like, it's not the ring of power. It's not the ring of power from Lord of the Rings. No. Ring of power will corrupt you. No, I'm not saying that it's yeah. a corruption thing. I'm just saying like once you had that power, like once. What kind of person would yeah. you become? You yeah. know, if someone, if you woke mm-hmm. up tomorrow and had powers like Superman, would you go out saving people? Or would you go rob banks? You know what I mean? Like. But I mean, wouldn't these be questions that he had already tackled before when when he first got the death note? Like, am I the kind of person that would do this? We just didn't know he'd yeah, go but over that. Does he have different? Like, nothing's really changed. Does he have different viewpoints now than what he would have before, or has he, you know, seeing what Kira was not being Kira? Like, have a different view of like an outside point of view. You know what I mean? Like, looking at it in now. So kind of like a see differently. Like a mm-hmm. first impression would be different, is what you're kind of saying. Yeah, like he would have a new. He would like have the his... impression, like when he made up Kira, like he is Kira when it first started. It, yeah, and then it bankrolled, but he had he had his own support and self real, you know, rationalization throughout. And now that he's looking but, outside of it, yeah, now he's looking he can, at Kira as like he's a bad. Yeah. Point there's something that this he, isn't right. There's something he could judge, whereas before. He was the only yeah. judge. Well, That's why I think he would do something different this time. Yeah. It's because I think he has a new reference. Like, these new... people right now aren't just killing criminals. They're also just killing people so they can make more money. Yeah. You know? There's obviously some wrong with it. Yeah, so he, I think that would give him a new point of reference. Yeah. Do you think that the light that was light before he gave up the, the death note had some kind of plan? When it came to this, like him getting it back and I think it'd be really cool. I think I think it'd be really cool if he did. Like I, I think he has to. I still want to know if it's buried in the in the forest. Yeah, or yeah. I think he has to have some kind of a plan. I mean, it seems right in terms of. I mean, the he shell. had to have he had to have planned mm-hmm. for himself to make certain moves. That you know, himself being the version that doesn't know that he's Kira. I mm-hmm. mean, since this happened and he went through with the plan, he has not been back home. Like, could he have something set up at home that he could then it's possible. find the Death Note or yeah. retrieve it again or something? Yeah, know? maybe. It's been really weird not seeing Ryuk. Like, yeah, yeah that's, Nami, that's, no? really, Ryuk. that's really weird. Yeah, I miss him. Ryuk. <laughs> I felt like it was more like Nolan North last time, and this one still felt kind of like Nolan him. North, but maybe it's kind of like more soft spoken, not doing the Drake thing, but being a little more. Uh, it could be. Him. I heard. I heard. Back in, definitely sounded. In, in young, sounds like a different timber. In Young Justice, like I just that's Nathan Drake. Yeah. You know, like that just sounds like him. Yeah. This yeah. one, I mean, it could be you know, older. Maybe it sounds a little different. I don't know. But I mean, that's not a spoiler. We can look that up, right? I can't remember his name. <laughs> the guy's name. Yeah, I don't know. Just be careful looking up the con, the con man. Yeah, yeah no. I was. Seen, like, I was oh, well, trying this to pay attention, listening to this names person's and only stuff in four episodes. I bet he dies soon or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what was with the strawberry? Is that gonna be something? Or is he just pocket? Did he get ruined in there? there. Put, put just holding the strawberry. Yeah, he he's gonna put leave in there for long. Who gets smushed? I used to put cookies and from Ryan's in my pocket. My mom put them yeah, in her purse. Yeah, but those are cookies. She wrapped them in napkins. She took them with us. Yeah. He's, I don't know. He's, she took macaroni and cheese. She took. Always has all these sweets and stuff just all the time. Well, he, he uses he, brain he power to burn he calories, he's, man. He has to have these amazing amount of calories because he's so smart. He burns through them all. Yeah. Okay. I just feel like no, no, you don't see anyone else eating like anything. They're not that smart. But he's constantly eating sweets and shit. <laughs> like I'm like, how is he so skinny? But I know last time he was like, well, I burn all these calories with my brain. I'm like, what? Yep. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's ludicrous. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. I was like, he has fucking donuts and cakes and ice cream and. But he's the only one. No one else is eating anything. You said ludicrous, and I just yeah. The I, I'm head sorry. Just, no, it's, it's, the rapper's face just went through like <sighs> from Fast and Furious, ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> I just like saw him. I couldn't think of anything. I, just, I, I wrote down. About Calvin this. looked at me to close his eye. It jolted me. He's like, "There's no tea on the end." <laughs> Luda Christ. Yeah, he didn't say Luda Christ, did he? Yeah, he did. Um, I don't think I did. But Eric I said it too. No, he, did. uh, he he didn't. I don't think he said it with the tea. I just Luda when, Christ. He, when he said it. I don't think I said Luda Christ. Luda Christ. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> you yeah. check the tape. Luda Christ. Luda Christ. Yeah. Anyway, I, wrote, I just wrote down strawberry keep secret, and I'm like, that's going to be a, something. I don't know. And I just wrote a lot of sweets. 
Yeah. He he, eats, I feel like I'd be dead if I ate that many sweets. <laughs> what's he what's he do after he day. eats the strawberry? Yeah, but it's not the same. I have other stuff. I have a cup, have a cup of water right now. Okay. When does he ever have water? Or milk? Washing these uh, things someone, down. Someone said some comment. Milk. There was like, how's Aaron not dead yet? He has a monster in every drink. Or every video. <laughs> you know, when Al called on the phone, I actually... Didn't know that was his voice at first. I thought it was someone else. I can tell it was, it was his voice. It's just he did a great job. Yeah. You know, hey, just, man, what's going yeah, on? What up, guys? Pretty, pretty, it was a pretty amazing I plan. I, I'd be scared to jump. I mean, it's I'd be, a I'd fantastical be, plan. Yeah. I'd be afraid I'd miss, for one thing. That's the thing, like, to get up there and do your handstand and move and... I mean, how big of a mattress was that? It's in a hotel, so it's got to be it's like, a normal size mattress. It's gonna be like a like, like a like a like a four or queen. Maybe queen, maybe. And this is would Japan we're talking about. So would you do it? No. <laughs> Hell no. What if the other option though is that you would could possibly just, possibly just die anyway? I don't would know. You, would you? I do wouldn't it? have done what he did in the first place. Well, okay. I know, but I you, wouldn't have you, been you, on the task force. I said how many times ago? I'd be gone. Okay, say you didn't. Say you got kidnapped, right? There's no way. You'd be yeah. gone. You also want to be you there. Know, say you got kidnapped and you're in a hotel up on the sixth, seventh floor, or whatever, yeah. right? And it's very likely this guy who kidnapped you is gonna kill you. But if you fall off the building and it looks like you died, then he's not gonna worry about you anymore. Would you risk risk the fall, or would you try to stay in there and just hope you don't die? I'd definitely risk the fall. Like, I, th I think if it's looking very good, like I'm gonna die, like I don't know. Like he was like, they, they, they know I. You don't want them to hurt. kill you. They'll probably yeah. do, t you know, they'll probably kill you in a terrible way. It'd probably just heart attack, but you're guaranteed to die. At least fall off the building. It'd be quick if it didn't work, <laughs> or should be. Depending well, I mean, if they, already, if they already, quick too. If they already knew his, yeah. Know. It's fake alcohol poison here or something. <laughs> what, they have to know. take you to the hospital? I'm trying to think of something different. <laughs> That's not me doing a handstand on a balcony. <laughs> yeah, but <when> they <laughs> falling three stories. Could you? <laughs> I don't think I could. I doubt I could do a handstand. I could do a handstand, but I would do a fall. Ah! Ah! No, I, ah! Yeah, I couldn't do it. I'd be, I mean, just, I, mean, I don't think I'm scared of heights, but I don't, I don't love them. Like, once I got up there, I'd fucking fall. This, ah! this is kind of morbid, you know but I mean? like, when, my, when my brother uh, was a uh, sophomore at OU, I mean, they had a, they, you know, it was the high rise over in Athens, you know, mm -hmm. for the, uh, the dormitories. I mean, they had a guy, like, at a party at their dorm, fall off and die. Oh yeah, you because he was yeah. drunk. You know, I, I remember that story. I think he was also high, but I, it was mainly drunk. But I mean, yeah, it sucks. I I don't know. I don't know if I could do that. I, I think if I hit the mattress, I'd just flip everybody that's holding it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the worry that I would have because mattresses they're, they're not very stiff. Like, yeah. If you hit it, like, right here... Well, put the box go, spring oh, under oh. it, and then put the mattress on top of it. No, you snap the box spring. You, it's made out of, like... It's at least dirtier than the mattress. That's all, know, I'm, that's all but, I'm saying. Like, you get out there, you hold it, right? Well, I think have he, the box he, spring he, to help give you some support. When you hit it, keep hold. You, uh, so they... Like he, seesaw, he fakes jumps, he gets caught by the mattress, they throw a thing of, like... A bag of something out to make yeah. the sound, and then that guy just gets, runs out there, and lays and down, lays throws down. the bag out of the way, and lays down. Yeah. So that they can hear the sound, they can go over and see him. An uh, ambulance comes, they pick him up and leave. Yeah. They never like come up and like talk. Uh, I guess they got the hell out of there. With Everyone their, left. With yeah. Because like, he didn't die in front of us. Remember they said something like that. Yeah. I, how did they get from? The conference room, and Misa's there, and she's like, let's all go back to my place. We got a reception party. I got, like, 15 girls there. Uh, they, she said they, they set up the reception party. A reception party. A reception. Yeah. Okay, for the business deal? Yeah, yeah like, oh, you're going to do this good. They're all for it. Come on. It's, it's like rush hour, too. And then her manager dies, and she's like, well, let's go. Remember they're getting massages and stuff? No wonder you're mad. <laughs> yeah. It's like senior year. No wonder you mad. So, Misa wasn't in on this plan at all. I know. I just, right? I love Chris Tucker's voice. Yeah. I guess we have to assume that Misa wasn't. Coleman Dallas! No, yeah. she seemed Sorry, pretty under control for <laughs> having the guy she knew so. die. What would, you, what would you say? The what? Sorry, I was on Chris Tucker. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we have to assume that Mitsa wasn't part of the plan at all. No. Right? But they I did mean, talk on the phone. With the exception of, like, Light telling her what to do after she went in. But yeah. she didn't know that he was going to kill himself. Yeah. She might have been part of the plan, actually. I mean, it's, a, it's possible that she they, got, they got off the phone because we didn't hear the plan being done or anything, and then he get over and he whispers to her, and then, then they do it again later. You know, there could yeah. have been a time skip in there that we just didn't see. I don't think she knew. But we were saying about, you know, you know, she, she is kind of a morbid person when it comes to the things people do. It was almost like she was in on it. She got, you guys get out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what it felt like. I, I, I agree. Um, she wasn't in on it at all. 
mean, you she, know, that'd be crazy. Because she's like, all right, make sure you call me. Yeah. I'll I mean, cover this up. But she also, she has these fucking dolls and shit all over the place. That are, and she's obsessed with uh, Her cell phone. Her cell phone has She fell in love with Kier before she ever thing. met him. Yeah. Like, she's, she's a weird girl, you know. But and George's fiance had dolls. She's trying to do... No, she has, like, like those <clears throat> death, like, omen doll things. Oh. Like, all in her room and shit. Yeah. You remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like that that's one guy. they do over there. I'm just saying, she's a she's a morbid person. It's like that one guy who should live above you, Shane. Had all those dolls in the window. Yeah, the, yeah. Well, man, the convicted pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> the pedophile. The pedophile. I'm just saying, like you know, <laughs> she is kind of a morbid, strange person in the first place, but. I think that there's room that they could have told her like before it actually happened. <laughs> That's like a different well. job. Yeah. Like pa- someone, pedophiler. someone just keeps tracking files, like pedophiles. He's a pedophiler. <laughs> but he, like, it's like, he's like an anal rapist. Yeah, analyst and a therapist. An therapist. An analyst. An analyst. Like what are you? I'm a pedophiler. <laughs> like what? <laughs> no, he he files children. Yeah, one good like, idea. Yeah. Medical yeah. records and stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at, at a podiatrist. I'm a pedophiler. I'm a pedophiler. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh man! So what does it mean to be? Whenever Misa is like, I'll be the face of the company, just like a spokesperson or a yeah. model yeah. on a. I, mean, I don't, We don't know what Yasubo the Yasuba like, you know? group does. Yeah, like someone who's like the face of it, like on a commercial or yeah. magazine cover. Yeah. Like who's the face of Air Jordans? Yeah, this is a little symbol. Just some random guy. Oh, no, <laughs> Shane. Like, it's probably Michael Jordan, right? Yeah. The face of these shoes. We're going to make this line. It's just yeah. Be like that. It's actually, it's a bunch of different athletes, but yeah. But, like I mean, a, he started though, right? Yeah. When it first yeah. came out. That's why it's called Eric like, Jordan. Yeah. It'd yeah. just be like starting it off. Now he has like an umbrella of like Haynes, athletes right? to wear it. Hey, yeah. Michael Jordan was Haynes. He's the Haynes guy. Yeah. Did yeah. Haynes all the time. Or like the, those two guys for Old Spice. Terry Crews and the other guy. You need to yeah, quit we saw saying him. all these brands were only sponsored by one person. For one company. I hope it's Monster. To die that. No, it's not. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Death Metal along with us. If you would like to see the next episode, uh, <laughs> make sure you're following around next week. And if you're not, then make sure you guys are going to patreon.com slash blindwave where you can find it right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>